Stadia 4K streaming will use up to one terabyte of data in 65 hours. For those of you who may not know about data caps and streaming and data and how much is used and what is a lot, one terabyte of data is a lot of information. And yeah, obviously you're not going to be playing a game typically for 65 hours straight, but you may be playing a game for 65 hours total. And they are saying over at PC Gamer that Stadia is going to stream 4K gaming and it takes one terabyte of data in 65 hours. If you have a monthly data cap, game streaming should be approached cautiously. Oh my god. That might explain why Google didn't talk about how much data these games would be using when streaming via 4K. That conference, the Google Connect, the, the Stadia Connect, whatever they called it, it did a very poor job of translating what Google Stadia presents to the end user compared to the facts behind it. They they didn't tell people a lot of things that they know, and that was strategic. And clearly one of them was they didn't want people to know how much data would be used streaming 4K, but wow. Wow, wow. We've had a lot of questions regarding Google Stadia, and with today's reveal of some of the core specs and requirements, we now finally have some answers. I'm focused on streaming requirements and specific video bit rates. Google says it provides steady 60 frame per second 4K stream with a bit rate of 35 Mbps. That's high end of streaming requirements, which most people, let's be honest, this day and age will not be streaming a video game at that quality and maybe they'll let you select how you want it to be streamed depending on your internet connection but just the fact that even if you drop it down to 1080p at 60 frames and 20 megabytes per second and 720 60 frames per second 10 megabits that works out to 15.75 gigabytes per hour oh my god oh my god that's what we expected, though, all with streaming service. If you plan to use a lot and don't have an unlimited data plan, you'll want to exercise caution. I wonder if the whole internet situation is going to be convoluted thanks to our buddy AjitPi with the whole uh, data removal freedom of the internet thing where providers will be able to select how information is transferred, the speed of the data based off the site, wonder if that's going to play a role with Google Stadia. That's about what we expected with all streaming services. If you plan to use it a lot and don't have an unlimited data plan, you'll want to exercise caution. Even with a one terabyte data plan, which is what I have from Comcast, that's 65 hours per month. That's assuming I don't do anything else on the internet. There's usually not much point streaming 4K on a lower resolution display. Though with games, you should get some anti-aliasing benefits. Google did reiterate that all streaming is intended to happen at 60 frames per second to keep things smooth. Google didn't dig into other facets of Stadia, but Stadia Pro subscription will include 5.1 surround sound support, while free Stadia accounts, which are coming next year, will only have stereo surround and be limited to 1080p or lower. Stadia will launch later this year, and there's currently a list of 25 games, though we don't know how many of them will be available at launch, how much they'll cost. Stadia's Founder Edition will include Chromecast Ultra, Stadia Controller, and three months of Stadia Pro for $129. But holy crap. Like, this is insane. This is insane. Uh, uh. Talk about a barrier to entry for people that want a high quality gaming experience. Assuming that you're able to spend a lot of money to get a good internet connection, a high speed, 
you also have to worry about data caps and depending on where you live, if you live in an apartment complex or in a really heavy populated area, that could impact the consistency of the data speed. And on top of that, if there are data caps, oh good lord, that makes this whole situation kind of fall apart at the seams. I don't want to play the all things are going to hell with Google Stadia right now, but the more information we're finding out about this, the more hesitant I am to embrace the future, especially when technology of the internet, and even more especially in America, is not up to the worldwide standard of high speed, high quality, fast internet with consistent speed, with affordable prices. This is just a big, big, big yikes. I, I'm starting to wonder what even the point of Google Stadia is. Because they keep advertising the 4K and the you don't need to buy the hardware as the selling point to this thing. And a lot of people have been saying since my initial video on the Stadia of why I don't think it's going to be very successful, at least in the near future, is they want this to be around for the next generation of consoles. It gives people another choice instead of spending $600, we'll say, on a PS5 or the next box, you can just use this $10 a month plan and stream. So on the surface, it sounds like a sound business plan and you can save a lot of money and keep up with gaming without dropping a bucket load on a console. But if you consider that you're going to need to be streaming to get the quality experience like you would get on a console to use this much data, that is a big uh-oh. And even if you don't have a data cap right now, if Stadia catches on, data caps are coming for everyone. <laughs> there is going to be no avoiding this. This is a gigantic yikes. Gigantic yikes. Oh, and I thought about this, but I didn't think it was going to be a terabyte of data in 65 hours for the top tier. Yeah, I expected a lot. I did not expect one terabyte of data in 65 hours, though. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, that's on top of spending 10 bucks a month to even have the ability to use that much data. Still not sure about the buying proposition for this thing. It is, it is sketch at best. But this is coming to us from PC Gamer, and as far as what people have to say about it, in the long run, is it just cheaper to buy the hardware and buy the games individually? If you have an ISP that has caps and extra charges going over the gap, then financially, this doesn't make any sense. I bought Alienware laptop for $1,300. I buy Steam bundle, $1,030, no hassle, no latency. Yeah, exactly. The Google Stadia, in theory, is a fantastic idea. And while some ideas, in theory, work great, this time, it sounds like the technology is a little too ahead of its time. Most internet providers don't really give a crap about video game streaming, and if they do, they want to bend you over when you're playing, so yeah. I don't think my internet is fast enough to handle 1080p at 60 frames per second. This sounds like a bad idea. Most people's internet is just not that reliable. It's very true, and I can definitely attest to that. Even though I pay for the best internet at my house, it constantly drops and dips and goes well below what I'm paying for. It's day one. I'm happy with Stadia. It's a bit buggy. Not many games, but it's okay. Day 245. Almost no more latency and bug, but many great games coming. Starting to like it. Day 567. I sold my PS5. I'm a Stadia-only gamer now. It's so amazing. I bought dozens of games on it. Day 743. Oh no! Google's shutting down Stadia. Why? Please don't close Stadia. <laughs> I mean, a realistic possibility if this does not take off, which is always sketchy with new technologies, even if it's coming from the biggest company on the planet. Don't believe me? Look at Google+. Plus. They were trying to answer Facebook. They kept Google+, Plus going for as long as possible, and then recently announced that they're going to be closing down Google+, Plus because it failed. So yeah, 
Even Google can fail at things, no matter how much money they pour into it. Oh joy, just imagine playing some mega fast shooter on already too slow and blurry monitors with extra compression blur, motion blurring game, and add an extra 200 millisecond lag on bandwidth limited provider. Extra headache free of charge. Hey man, shut your mouth. It's the wave of the future. Ours is not to question. Ours is just to purchase. Yes, 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 yes. So yeah. That's what people are saying about the Google Stadia and how much data it's going to use in order to stream 4K. Open your wallets up, America, and get ready to be spending some hard-earned cash on these games. Even if up front it's only 10 bucks a month, go talk to your internet provider and see how much the charge is going to change over the course of the next year or two. That's all I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, you stay smashing.